Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration, Saturday, April 20, 2024. I pray that you are doing well this morning, and I pray that the Holy Spirit will continue to guide you and lead you into the path of righteousness. I pray God will continue to pour out His blessing upon you and your family, and I pray that as we go throughout this day, that we will experience the joy that is of the Lord as we embark on this day of beautiful bliss and may we receive the blessing that comes from God. Our reading today comes to us from Matthew chapter 21, reading from verse 23 to 27. And it says, and when he was come into the temple, the chief priests and the elders of the people came unto him as he was teaching and said, By what authority doest thou these things? And who gave thee this authority? And Jesus answered and said unto them, I also will ask you one thing, which if ye tell me, I in likewise will tell you by what authority I do these things. The baptism of John, whence was it, from heaven or of men? And they reasoned with themselves, saying, If we shall say from heaven, he will say unto us, Why did he not then believe him? But if we shall say of men, we fear the people, for all hold John as a prophet. And they answered Jesus and said, We cannot tell. And he said unto them, Neither tell I you by what authority I do these things. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his holy words. And I pray that we will get clarity and understanding as we seek to continue our study of God's word. So one day Jesus was in the temple teaching. And the chief priests and elders, the leaders of the church, they came and of course they were not pleased with this because Jesus was teaching the truth and he was drawing the attention of the people to him or to God and so this was a great bother for them because remember the leaders at the time they they were doing a lot of things that was contrary to what the Bible teaches and so they came to Jesus and they started they connive amongst themselves and they came and they started to question Jesus asking Jesus who gave him the authority to do these things and so Jesus said so Jesus said unto them before I give you an answer let me ask you a question and if you can answer my question then I will give you an answer to the question you ask and so this is the question that Jesus asked them he said the baptism of John Whence was it? From heaven or of men? And this put them into a tight spot now because they are going to be forced to speak the truth because they know that if they should slip, then the truth about what they have been doing is going to come to the light now. And say they, they don't want that because they want to keep the people in darkness. And so because they refuse to, 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 to give an answer, Jesus also, he didn't give him an answer. Now, what we need to take from this is that sometimes what you are doing for God will be offensive to those around us. When you are doing the right thing, others are going to be offended. 
and they are going to try to find a way to discredit what you are doing and say but i'll tell you this if what you are doing and saying is in a line with scripture to the t then by all means continue and one thing we must be careful be careful of because some of us we we love to entertain ungodly behavior when it comes on to the word of god there are those who come to to cause disruption right certain conversation you and i should not entertain because the the intention of the question or whatever the conversation is is not that the person really wants to know the truth but the person is being an influence of the devil to distract you and to keep people in darkness so the devil used them and so we must pick our battles ask the holy spirit to give you direction so if someone comes to you about something bible related and if it is a sincere question that they are asking because they want to know the truth and because they are interested in turning from their ways and to following after god but they just want to know how they can do so then by all means you need to to indulge them and to show them the way but if their intention is just to 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 distract you and if their intention is just to play the devil's advocate then you must not entertain them just like jesus didn't entertain the priest because they 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 were concerned that jesus was drawing the attention of the people to him not understanding that they were leading the people astray and the people needed to know the truth and jesus was here pointing the people to the truth so that they could repent and change and they have a problem with it you see how corrupted the leaders were in the in those days and believe you me it's no different today and that is why it is important that we all know the scripture for ourselves that we are not deceived because there's a lot of misleading out there so may god give you wisdom and may god help us as we seek to follow in his footsteps and seek to do what is pleasing in his sight. Amen.